Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a couple users ask some questions, and I think I've got some solutions. So let's get cracking. Friends, the projects in question were how to space something evenly on a circle, and then also how to align something on the face that you want and get the view to look at it directly. I think I can do both of those in one project, so let me show you what I got. So I'm going to make a sweet missile pod. I'm going to start by bringing out a cylinder hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville. I want it to be size nine, and I'm gonna make it round on every edge. Now, I'm gonna look at it from a corner, and just to show the work plane, I'm gonna rotate it 22 and a half degrees. I stayed close to the shape and chose the first tick mark, so later I can get it back the way I want almost instantly. So then when I hit work plane, if I hit fit view and choose top, we are lined up pretty good. Let me see if I can get it exactly right by spinning myself around. I'm gonna do bottom. And now when I have top, I am where I want to be for the rest of this project. You notice I right click drag to get it a little more straight, but that is how you can line it up so that you fit the shape and get it the way you want. I think this is gonna help the user that had that question. Now the second question was how to space things evenly. So right now I'm gonna zoom out bring out another cylinder I'm gonna make it 64 sides hold down shift and this one I'm gonna shrink and I want to do two for how big it is let's use fit view to zoom in zoom out a little bit with the arrow keys or the minus and then I want to put a missile there and I'm gonna do control D with this work plane all still the same and I'm gonna put the mether missile up here so now friends with those two shapes there I want to get them so they go all the way around evenly because I have these spaced across here I can select them I can hit group I do want them to be a whole I'm gonna really really make sure they're aligned by clicking a line picking the cylinder and telling it center and center so you saw those nudge a tiny bit now when I do control D and I'm gonna rotate 45 degrees if I let go and don't touch anything else and just do control D again and again I have instantly got all my missile holes all the way around the shape just like that so I want to push these in further so I want to select all of them I'm gonna hide the orange piece grab them and now I can stretch this in I'm gonna tell it to go in 12 so it'll poke all the way through if I do show you can see it is pushed to the back and now I'm gonna make a mistake I'm gonna put the work plane out here and watch this now if I push these it goes completely wrong so I'm gonna do control Z put the work plane back on the place I wanted it to be flat and now I want to grab all these quickly and because I've got the work plane here I can push these through like I wanted check and see if they're poking out not quite I'll pull them a little more and then I can group that entire shape so there you have it friends working on a different plane and spacing things evenly real quickly I'm gonna rotate the rest of the degrees to get that flat notice it was 67 and a half because I already did the first 22 when I hit work plane and put it back to the blue you can see that lines up pretty sweet if we pull it up under the wing it is pretty groovy might be a little bit too large we can change that by holding down shift and just shrinking it from one corner until we're happy here's another fun change afterwards if we double click and click on the cylinder and give it a bevel of two check it out it carves it at an angle and looks even more epic all right friends just an added bonus let's add some missiles super fast work plane click on that face bring out a cylinder make it totally round hold down shift shrink it really small and I'm gonna tell it one for how big it is because I remember that I shrunk this whole project I'm gonna grab those two and do a line I'm gonna make this the master and I want it centered and centered let's zoom in on that piece with fit view you can see that it lines up decent I'm going to adjust my nudge to 0.1 millimeter now I can get that lined up just the way I want. I'm gonna do Alt Shift so it goes around the shape and I can find the exact size that I think is cool. Let's make it longer and a different color. Let's go gray and let's push this in and see if we like where it's at. 
Let's add a nose cone to this super quickly. I'm gonna put the real cone on there. I'm gonna do it with the cone once again. Hold down shift and make it tiny. We know it has to be about size one. So I'm gonna just stretch it a little and type one. Let's do a line. So I'm doing shift select, two shapes, a line, make the gray one the master and do center and center. It doesn't quite fit, so we're gonna zoom in on it. Once again, fit view, couple minuses, 0.1 millimeters. Let's do alt shift and line that up so it looks just the way we want. Bingo. Hold down shift, select two, and let's group. Missile one is in place. I'm gonna give it a red color, I think, just cause that I think is gonna look pretty cool. Then we need to get it up here. Control D, nudge it with the arrow keys. And when you've got those in place, hold down shift, select the two of them. I think they're aligned well enough, so I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to do Control D, rotate 45 degrees, let go, do Control D again and again, and all of a sudden our missile pod is in place. It might be a tiny bit off, so I'm gonna just do a tiny nudge. I like that a little bit better. So there you have it, a couple of simple skills that can help you make awesome things. I'm gonna change the color, and then I wanna hide my airplane so that's easier to grab, and I wanna make it a group. Zoom way out, do Control D. I'm gonna use Shift Nudge to move it to the other side nice and fast. If you want those to be aligned perfectly, check this out. If I select both of them and make them a group, now I can hold down shift and click on the fuselage. And if I choose a line and make the fuselage the master, boom, they are exactly where you want them to be. Don't forget, if you want these to be multicolor, you do have to turn that on. When you hit the light bulb, you can bring all your stuff back. Looks like I need to double click and go in these and make a multicolor. Boom and boom. That is more like what I was working for. Let's put the work plane on the ground and friends, a couple new skills and a little bit cooler jet. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.